Hello everyone and welcome back to the podcast. So today I am talking about curiosity. Curiosity. It's so fun. And as I see it, the human experience, life, is this development from root to crown of our personal power of tapping into ourselves. So I know you're already probably sick of hearing me talk about it from root to crown. It goes from being connected in our physical body, understanding what our needs are, our physical needs for nurturance and stability, grounding in mother earth, in our bodies, with our people and our tribe, going up to our second chakra in our feelings, our third chakra in our identity with the world, our heart chakra in our ability to love and be loved, our throat chakra in our self-expression, our truth, our ajna, our third eye, in our vision and our perspective of the world, of our intellectual intelligence, and our crown chakra in our connection with oneness, in our serving our purpose, ultimate purpose on this planet. So basically we're on this problem solving journey of life, of the human experience as we all signed up for. And when I say problem solving, I mean, life is constantly changing. It's constantly changing, whether it we're in a new season, a season, an actual season, spring, summer, fall, winter, a life season, a life chapter, parenthood, career development, midlife, older age, whatever that is, things are changing. And to successfully get through change takes problem solving, curiosity, so that you don't fall into, I'm stuck. I'm the victim. Life is happening to me. Instead, with curiosity, you get to live life. You get to design life for yourself and redesign what isn't working with this curiosity for, what if I did start to meditate? What if I started to eat this different food? What if I stopped doing this to my body? What if I could live the same way as that person's living? What if I could run every single day for a year? The what ifs is the edge of curiosity. And I love that question. What if? It's got certain magic and innocence and lack of aggressiveness to it because curiosity and change and challenge can quite often feel like you're going into new territory, which can bring up fear and the sudden desire of our body to stay in comfort. But the what if with that gentle touch just opens a slight door, just a little bit to say, "Mm, I don't necessarily have to fully commit but I can see that maybe there's some light on the other side of that way. I can see that I am not in the fullest light right now. I'm in a little darkness, not feeling the greatest about myself, about my life, about where I'm going or not going. So what if I open this little door to understanding myself a little better? to exploring getting out of this relationship or moving more into a relationship like that. This what if framework sets us up for this world of possibility. Now I have a three and a half year old and he has a couple of books and they have these phrases in them that these little critter animals, as they all happen to be in these children's books, have lived in the same town their whole life and they love it. It's the best place on earth and it drives me insane. I want to say, how the heck do you know that it's the best place on earth? Because you've, you just said that you have never been anywhere else. And I feel the same way about this, staying in sameness, right? We are born into the world and our root chakra starts to form and that's being formed off of the stories our parents are telling us, the experiences that we're getting as a child, whether we're loved and touched in positive ways or not so positive ways, with media, with culture, with 
the people that we're being surrounded by with how we experience life in that first portion forms that root chakra. So that creates our perspective of life for the first part of our life. That's what we think is normal. What is normal nowadays? We all know that normal is not actually a thing. You can define normal based on your root chakra experiences and what you think is normal, but it's not necessarily normal for anyone but yourself. So having this curiosity and being like, I have lived in this town and this is how I have viewed what my job should look like, how my day to day should look like, how I should define motherhood because that's how my mother was, or that's how fatherhood is because that's how I was treated by my father. But you get to start to say that, what if, what if there's another way of living, of defining those roles, of defining my life? And curiosity gives you that openness. Like now there's the internet, right? This world of exploration and realizing that you can type in your belief system, whatever it is, and you can find the opposite. You can find a bazillion articles proving the opposite, proving however we want to define proving, right? Proving the opposite correct. So really all you're doing in life is creating the reality that you want to live in, creating the feelings and moving into those feelings that you want to feel. So what if I don't wanna feel stuck? What if I don't wanna feel heavy? What if I don't wanna feel angry? How else are people living that they have changed that reality for themselves? What if there was a fun activity to do in winter that I loved? Suddenly, you're releasing this stuckness. You're releasing yourself from a cave of, I am in this life. This is what I've been handed. These are the walls I'm surrounded by. And you're starting to let in light. You're starting to realize that there's possibility of living another way. And it's fun. That's how we get into designing our lives redesigning, co-designing, right? Ultimately, there is a much bigger power that is supporting us and working through us and designing our lives. But you start to realize that you are a part of it. You get to take radical responsibility to start letting that light in. Curiosity defined, going to the dictionary, you know, and ultimately, I'm going to the dictionary right now. Here, I'll show you. It is defined as one's motivation to explore the world. And nowadays, you don't even have to leave your house to explore the world. Like I said, go to the internet. Not that I'm advocating for that being your only way to leave your city. Go travel the world if you can. But I know that's not a possibility for everyone. But explore the world, gain knowledge, discover, and experience new things. Your ability to do that broadens your horizons, broadens your perspective of possibility for yourself, for your ways of living. Suddenly you realize that when you cook dinner every night, it doesn't have to look like meat and potatoes, overcooked meat, and mushy potatoes. It can be this beautiful spectrum of Indian food with all these aromas and spices and poppadoms and dips. Or it could be Mediterranean food with feta and olives and tahini and fresh fish straight from the ocean. Or it could be a burger and fries. Or it could be this hand-tossed pizza with fresh mozzarella and tomato sauce and garlic. Suddenly your perspective has gone from, well, this is how I was raised with meat and potatoes on a plate at 5 p.m. to suddenly... The world is your oyster and your dinner time, your meal time, your creation in the kitchen just became exponentially more fun and full of possibilities that could align to light your body up energetically, your soul as you get to create and work with these yummy new foods. So that is the definition from the dictionary. However, you know who Brene Brown is the queen 
of making up her own definitions. And I love that so much. That is part of designing your life. You get to design and define words as you want them. So curiosity being the intent of opening doors, letting lights in, realizing the world of possibilities that are out there that you can pick, like going shopping, right? I'm going to have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And nope, that doesn't work for me. But you get to divine curiosity for what works for you. What's going to open those doors and excite you to get out into the world and discover and get excited and tap into all of the possibilities of your life and the passions and hobbies that you didn't even know existed, ways of working out that you love, that you want to do. So working out is no longer a burden, but something that you're passionate about. Like there is that possibility in everything. And I truly, truly believe that. You do have to go in with that mindset. Curiosity comes with getting past the fear of change, of stuckness, of being life living you and flipping it on its head to abundance where you get to live life. You get to design your life. There's hope and possibility and options out there, but you have to take radical responsibility to tap into yourself from root to crown and go and find it. It's not just going to magically come on a plate for you, right? You have to show up to life coaching, willing to do the work to understand how your mindset is working, how it was programmed, and then rewrite it, redesign it into how you want it to be programmed, how you want to feel and how you can design your actions and your thoughts to let you feel that way. So curiosity is the tool to understand yourself more. Be curious about what's going on inside yourself. Be curious about how you were programmed Another example that comes to mind, and I'm gonna date myself with this, but is from Runaway Bride. Julia Roberts doesn't know how she likes her eggs because she takes on how all of her fiancés like their eggs. She just morphs herself into the world or into these men in this case, and she hasn't taken the time to understand herself, to be curious about, hmm, what works for me? What is out there? Maybe I don't like scrambled or over easy or fried. Maybe I'm gonna get curious and explore all the options and understand for myself what works. So I challenge you, step in to the horizon of possibilities. Open the world to yourself. Now we're so connected to the world through books, through podcasts, through the internet, that you get to open it up and be curious. What if you started to meditate? What if you could change your thoughts and feel the way that you really wanna feel on a daily basis and feel awesome about being yourself? Would you do that? Would you do that for yourself? I challenge you, think about it. Think about what you're gonna change. Get curious about one thing and I would love to hear back about what it was and how you've changed your perspective and opened your horizons of how you can show up and dance through this life as your best self, as the truest form of you. Till next time. If you like this podcast, I want to invite you to coach with me. Let's ditch the autopilot living to slow down, tune in, reset, and redesign your life to glow from the inside out based on the beautiful being who you are, what matters to you, and how you want to dance through this life. I help you understand your self-sabotaging ways, program thinking, and tendencies to outsource your power and reshape them to align with the true you for this chapter of your life. To join me in a complimentary coaching session, go to my website, www.gemmaputty.com. Sending all the love, light, and vibrancy until next time.